Will Steven Gerrard be the next Liverpool manager? We, we spoke earlier about Steven Gerrard, he's going to be the new under-18s manager. You, I don't know about you, Mike, the first thought in my head was, he's getting groomed to be Liverpool's manager here. Yeah. Um, do you think when Jürgen Klopp goes, if you had to put your money on it now, would it be Steven Gerrard who, who fills that, that role? If you had to, if you were a gambling man, which I know you're not. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> yeah. I know. Okay, Chris, you love to As bet. a gambling man. As a gambling man who's, you know, risks it all, would, would, would Steven Gerrard be your bet? Um, how long has Jürgen Klopp got left? That's the thing. Point? Again, you, you, you decide. It doesn't matter whether it's one year or five years. It's up to you. I'm going to go no. Okay. He's not going to be the next Liverpool manager. John? Um, no, I'm saying. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Sure, Chris. <laughs> Paul? Uh, if Klopp sees out his contract, yes. If Klopp leaves in the next two to three seasons, nah, well too early for Stevie. Go on. What did you say? No. No. Oh. I think Klopp stays for. I'm, I'm really optimistic here. I'm saying 10 15 and we get loads of titles. And Steve goes somewhere else. And I think, uh, yeah, yeah, Steve will go somewhere else because he's, he's tired of sitting there like Prince Charles waiting well, for the throne. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? That's what, that's what I, I, Why don't you die, you man? I want it to be that more than anything else. It's interesting because, funnily enough, because I've been playing. Footy manager 2006 lately. I, I, I nipped over to Mainz to have a look at Klopp, and he was, he's not very good on it back back then. But him and Buvak are, are obviously there at that time. And I've been thinking about this about his team. He's got he's got his, his close to the team, and he brings them with. But he's not had all the same guys for the for the whole time. It's been him and Buvak, but they've, they've added people to it along the way. You just got to look at who we've got. Pepe um, has stayed for exactly. Example. You know, you're Pep at the moment, and you've got the the, the fitness guy who come in as well. Call Meyer. Wagner left and Huddersfield now. Ex ex exactly. So, don't, I wouldn't surprise me to see Steven Gerrard being groomed for that. You know, I don't think it'll be if Klopp stays for the full seven years. I, 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 I Stevie's not going to stay as 18s manager or 23s manager for that necessarily for that whole point. If he did, then you get your your Prince Charles next in line. You, you I used the analogy the the, the Will Riker in you know. Commander of the Enterprise kind of thing, waiting for John Luke Picard to shuffle off. Oh no, they've decided to renew his contract. Oh well, I'll stay second in command. Um, it's not your next generation. Yeah, it's, it's, falling that, flat. That went... it's falling flat. Mental notes. Don't talk yeah. about TNG but on the show again. Was fine. Um, <laughs> um, but no, start, I, I, Stephen Gerrard. What if you know? If he's good enough, they'll progress him as far as they're capable of promoting him. When Klopp feels he's ready, I see him coming into that. And he won't make the leap, is what I'm saying, from 18s to, to Liverpool boss. He has to progress there first. So if the progression hasn't happened, he won't be Liverpool's next manager. He might be the guy after See, the, the guy. I, I'm in the middle. I think he will be Liverpool's next manager, permanent manager, but I think he will go somewhere and then replace Klopp. So I think he might be around for two or three years in the academy, go and manage somewhere else. And then when Klopp goes, he'll be the Liverpool one. If I had to put my my thought on it, MK Don's wants them already. For example, and he turned yeah. down. I think he might do two or three years in the academy. Someone will, someone in the championship will just take Steve Gerrard as their manager. They just will. I can tell you that now. Even if that it's would just, be the. I, I think that'd be terrible though. I, to, to let him go and come back. No, no, no. But then they if you don't do no, that, to, to go to the fucking championship. Well, he could, he could, it could be the Premier League. I mean, look. Or the, or the Premier League. Wait, terrible, terrible, terrible. I mean, if I he's going to do it. Then for me, anyway, he's got to go abroad and he's got to go and do some, you know, something. But he might do that. We yeah. talked about it last week. It's about like the Brendan Rodgers going to Celtic. I'm not saying go to Celtic, but I mean. Go and do, go, go and do a job. Something, somewhere that's fairly easy fucking to do exactly. It. Go and do somewhere that it's not nails as fuck. Don't go to saucy your dad like a knobhead. You know what I mean? Don't go to, don't go to a, a, a mid-table Spanish Sunderland like a knobhead. We're just, we're just, we're just. <laughs> Moyes and David Moyes' career. <laughs> <Moyes, laughs> <Moyes, laughs> Everton. Like, no, no, no. Don't go to Everton. Don't replace yeah. a legend. <laughs> don't go to saucy dad. And don't go to Sunderland. Go if to you a, do that, you're a fucking idiot. Go yeah. to a two-team league and make sure you're the only team that can win it. That's what Rodgers did. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, you absolutely. Know. I'm going. I don't. I don't think he'd go to the Premier League so I don't think Stephen would manage against Liverpool I don't think he could have that in him but I, I think he will go somewhere and manage and then replace Klopp because I agree we're going to get to a point I think I'm with you I think Klopp's going to be here for a fairly long time and Stephen's not he can't do what Ryan Giggs did and just wait and wait and wait and then you're not ready he, there'll be a time when he has to go. Ryan Giggs didn't get the Man United job because he thought he's done nothing Yeah. he, had to, he should have went and managed Swansea he should have went and managed someone like that Stephen can't manage in the Premier League but he could go to yeah. Why, why can't he go to Scotland and Man Celtic? Or why can't he go to 
So, I don't know, any... Sp- but the changing sp- of whatever. the managerial guard for gigs more than anything else because Mourinho was staunch on who he wants, exactly yeah. who, who he wanted around them. It's different if it's, again, if we've got this progression thing in it. I could see Stephen Gerrard not going anywhere else because, again, if he sees a clear path for himself and it's 18s, 23s, assistant manager or dual assistant manager or whatever that might whatever that we create a role for him inside he's on the bench you know what I mean he's there he's there on the touchline with, with, with it's the Barcelona it's, it's, the, it's the old Barcelona model it's for, for ba- yeah. pre- it's the old Liverpool well, fact, it's, 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 it's yeah. Roy Evans it's Kenny Dalglish yeah. it's you know what I mean it's Paisley it's it's whatever so Pep to, Do we, to it, Tito into Lewis and, and is that, that that model seems to be John something that, ideally that's what I'd love that that to be the thing that's going to be the thing as well but you touched on it a bit with the Swansea thing there as well you look at Ancelotti and um, what's his Paul face? Clement Paul Clement who's just over at Swansea you know he did that with Derby didn't he You know, he obviously left went to Derby and then ended up taking a job at Munich with Ancelotti again and now he's come back and now he's managing Swansea just do that you know. there's nothing to say you can't do or, or you know Wagner Huddersfield there's nothing to say you can't just go and manage a club for a season do well and it doesn't I'd actually I'm, I'm with Paul I'd, I'd rather it be abroad I'd rather him go to oh, like, definitely, yeah. like you know like um, go do like maybe not Valencia after what happened with Neville but you know you know what I mean like manage a decent club yeah. at a decent level abroad and he doesn't have to win the league yeah, something like that just, 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 just to get the culture he, could... he's never been abroad really apart from yeah. the Galaxy has he so he needs, to, he needs to broaden his horizons a bit I think yeah. as well well I could yeah. see sorry, something you mentioned there it occurred to me I could see him going and doing an assistant manager job somewhere more than going managing somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned Wagner. You could, you know, maybe he goes to that, you know, I'm not saying he's still a Huddersfield town manager, but he could progress somewhere. He could go and do a, a year or two, again, under a different manager, higher up. Because again, how do you, there's actually, it is actually a big leap from the 23s yeah. in, in football and in coaching, in a coaching sense. So maybe that might, maybe that would be the missing link more than going the thing to the is, here's why here's why he can't stay right because you are the under 18s manager the under 23s manager and then let's say you're the Liverpool manager you've had no experience of buying players none, what's, none whatsoever mm. you have to go and be a manager somewhere you have to you have to hold those reins for yourself somewhere yeah. other than Liverpool Football Club first for me yeah the reason I said the reason I said yeah the reason I said he'd go away Abroad or go to another club is because I don't think I don't think he can be the Liverpool assistant manager. That's my point. I don't think he can. Yeah, While Klopp's here, because Klopp loves Bubic, so he's never. It's not like a case, it isn't the gig situation where he will eventually be. There's no. There's nothing for him to do once he gets to twenty three and maybe say first team coach. Yeah, he might have to leave. It's like uh, Pep Linders, for example. People people are asking Pep Linders now to go and be their manager, and I think we might get to a situation where Stephen gets to that point, and then Liverpool have to decide. Do we say no? You can't, we're going to keep you, and I've promised you this job's yours. Or you know what? It'll be good for you to go because you're, I can tell you now, mate. You're not. Klopp's not making you his, his assistant because he, he he loves the brain, doesn't he? But he's, he could do the pebble. He, he could be pep. He could be peplins, couldn't he? You could, know what I mean? Yeah, he could. And, just, it, and yeah. that's and that's, that's which is your. It's not on the twenty threes, but it's as close. That's the next potential step. The, I, I I get what you're saying. Sorry, Chris, on the on the thing. For me, it's more about the real pressure of what because being a, a being on twenty threes manager, no one gives a fuck to you because you know it's the, there's all the inbuilt excuses your players are going. No one expects you to win anything who's under twenty threes, but there is that. Uh, it's not about the choice because I think if ultimately he'll know what a player looks like because having worked with the youth, he'll know. What it looks like. he's been he's been a top player he's played with top players he's seen the top players come in he'll have an idea he'll know what one looks like what he what's more important is that he gets to experience the real world pressure of it's all on you mate on yeah. match day and all that kind of stuff which he will have been protected from to that point I think the transfer stuff because ultimately I think you, you get you're the, always you part get, of a committee you, anyway ultimately aren't you, you, you know? get the results and you, if you're the manager of the under 23s or what you are responsible for that result mm. on that day so he, he does get that experience no no anyway, but what but I mean is what he having a full is, football club and a full fan base of course, on your shoulders but what that, over the result all, that, all that's a part of that is all that scouting network all coming to you the whole thing and you know you, you've got a I don't think it's a it's a one year job. I don't think you can learn all that you've got to do in one oh, in one oh. or two years. You've got to be able to 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 identify how you're going to manage that club from top to bottom. That is everybody from the tea lady to the fucking scouting department to your, how you work with the director of football, how you manage the piercings, how you interact with the board. You do not get that as an under twenty three manager. Yeah. You just don't. Yeah, yeah and it and I, I said transfers, but what I mean is. It's the full, the full full thing, package, like. and that's what you've got you know, to do. You, you know, it's the, stupid to say anyway. No, yeah. The big problem with this is, and this is this is ultimately where gigs fell far. The the job might be too big, 
And I'm not saying, you know, because look, Ryan Giggs might be, uh, might be good enough. He might have been good enough to take that job. But as you say, even if Gerard goes away and manages, the level of experience that you're going to, he'd have to get, an, he'd have to have an amazing level of experience somewhere for him to really be able to take that job, you know, because it would be a massive gamble otherwise. I mean, the days of us putting Kenny Dalglish in charge as a player manager. I, I doubt we'll ever, you know, it, okay, I say player manager, that, that bit's irrelevant to it. it the guy had no management experience whatsoever. He was just boss and he, he took over and he was a freak in that in that regard. And even like Zidane to some extent. Uh, but he, he, he went through the, the youth, that, that set up, didn't but he? It's, it's, Assistant manager it, again. It, that's, you'd, he would have to be so fucking good at everything that he does up to that point for us to be able to do it because there is just that thing what happens is it doesn't matter who Steven Gerrard is and it doesn't matter to a point all of it, even if he is boss up to that point when you come down to it you're handing someone the keys to a multi-billion pound fucking empire you know, we don't we don't want to gain. It doesn't matter, to Steven Gerrard. We will we will struggle to accept another guy who needs to do his learning on the job. On, on the job. And there will also be all the fears that come with it. That's a very that takes up fucking bollocks the size of the fucking world to be able to say to, to Steven Gerrard at any point from now until you know forever. There you go, mate. That's all. That's on all. Job, on you. Go, go on. Do the thing as well is I don't want to say I want to see him kind of fail somewhere, but. I kind of want him to go and get the monkey off his back, if you know what I mean. Like, do what Chris said, you know, he goes to the 23s and does that, and then goes to get a manager's job elsewhere, but it's got to be the right job. If he goes to, like, a, you know, I don't want to say like an MK Dons, but like a League One, League Two side, especially in the next couple of years, there's always going to be that thing in the press. How many managers go from fucking League One to the Premier League to top managing top six clubs? That's the problem with David Moyes. There's always going to be that thing of him. Uh, but always. David Moyes went. <laughs> Look at the progression. Moyes has to go just to get the fucking Man United. He's been ten years at Everton to get him. You know what I mean? That's the that's the thing with that. Sorry, John. Is that the what? It, 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 you say that, Paul, but then Klopp minds. Jose Mourinho mm. was at you know all all the clubs before Porto. Who else? Uh, obviously Conte and Wenger. Wenger in Japan. Mm. You know, so Pep Guardiola managed the yeah. Barcelona B team. So you have to have something. I think that's what John was but saying. Dortmund aren't the club when Klopp took over that they were, that they are now. So and Liverpool will not be the club. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Liverpool will be. You know, and maybe even then that again the pressure of the Liverpool job much bigger even now than Dortmund would have been yeah, when he took a Dortmund would have fucking sham of a club. The, the thing, the, the thing I'm kind of getting at is, is if you go with a League One, League Two club and they're struggling, especially in the next few years, there's always going to be that thing in the press of twofold either go ahead, Stevie, like, to fancy putting your boots on for a few months just to get through the end of the season, which you don't want, and and then the thing of. He was a player, you know, it's the Gary Neville thing, look at him, he, ex-players can't do it. You, you need to get him almost to lose that 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 lens in the press of him being a good footballer yeah. to focus on the management thing. And if he goes to like another club and has a hard time, you know, maybe as I say it doesn't fail but has a hard time with as as a period he doesn't get good results and then turns it round, that almost in a way for me legitimizes him, you know what I mean? It's so difficult now because I think that, you know, you go back to the mid nineties and managers used to be able to go go really far down the leagues and work their way up. Now the focus, the, there is so much focus on football and most of the football in England is, is televised in some way, shape or form. That wherever Steven Gerrard goes, he's always going to be Steven yeah, Gerrard. Yeah. So you need to do the best job you can do as possible to get yourself out the line, mate, which is why the under-18s is a great job for him. Yeah. Just get him out the line. Like, stop. And, and, to be honest, he needs to focus on that. Yeah. He needs to sack the BT stuff off as well Maybe, yeah. because ultimately I think it'll be detrimental to him because he's always putting it's himself his out profile, there. Like, exactly. Yeah, he could do with regardless of all this. I think we get we're obviously getting ahead of ourselves. We had the conversation. We're saying it's a bad bad choice. We've done, it's been great, but do four years at the academy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. put, get he'll be in his forties by then. He'll be what forty one, forty two by that by that point. He's at a, a more mature age and then make a decision because, look, everything moves on so fast anyway. Four years from now, it's sad and it'll devastate him. It devastates all like, footballers. People don't give a fuck. People, people won't give a fuck yeah, about Stephen Gerrard in People need to be talking years, about though. him like they're talking about Pep Linders or like they're talking about Alex Singlethorpe for Stephen Gerrard, the coach, or yeah. for Stephen Gerrard, the yeah, man. You want, right you want the not yeah. Stephen yeah. Gerrard, the player you want, to be, you want it to be what Pep Guardiola did where he, he went from great club legend to a great academy coach, earned his stripes, come in and he changed, and he and it was his team. You wouldn't if he goes if Stephen goes in now it's too soon, I agree, or even in the next couple of years. But if he can if he can follow the Pep model to an extent of go in, box yourself off, be, become who you are and then do it. Mm. That's I think I think we all agree. I mean, that. like I say, I, the, the the one benefit to him do again if him staying within the club though is that 
it's that thing benefit of a teacher following a class up to some extent as well. Like you know what I mean? You could you could see a world in four years' time, Klopp's had a good run and you know, he's coming toward the end of his this day, and Gerard comes up with the next generation of sixteen to, 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 to twenty year old kids that he used to help develop and he's he knows the inside and outs of and he brings them through and maybe that's our next great generation.